Hi guys, um, this is part 5 of Server Plus Client uh, Advanced um, New Tutorial Series I'm making. Alright, so um, as promised in the last tutorial, we're going to start making the core, and the core is, pro is um, we're going to make the core for the server. Just checking, no, nope, that's another uh, project I'm making. I've actually finished it, it's called a Tower Defense Kit, and it um, should be on the Unity Asset Store in a short few days. Um, so yeah, check that out and hopefully buy it, you know, like working for stuff. Alright, so um, also, I know I don't I don't like asking these things, but um, I've actually monetized these videos because um, it's nice being rewarded with money for, you know, the effort I make, the effort I take in making these videos. So I mean, the YouTube ads that they post are not, they're not dangerous for your computer at all. So like, if you know, if you click it. I make a bit of money you get you get to learn and you know we're both happy so yeah that's just something to keep in mind if you don't want to do it fine just keep watching my videos it's, you know everything's cool of course I, it's just like I'm asking all right so um, enough with that I'm going to start coding now <coughs> so um, find your scripts folder and under your, your un ah, under your server folder navigate to the core which we've made open that up and I believe we are what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go straight away <coughs> oh, what's going on I'm gonna go to our server um, scene so go to that and I'm gonna create a new empty game object and call that server actually you know we'll call it core <coughs> and then all we wanna do is drag the core onto that and this is just for testing purposes then um ooh, what is this so yeah, this is what we um, started writing before. Oh, two sec guys, I'll be right back. Alright, sorry about that. So I'm back. So um, from what... Ooh. Ooh. This is... Alright, oh, that's why. This ain't the core. I was looking at this and I was wondering what that was. But Okay, so here's the core. Um, I'm gonna delete these because I like starting from fresh, fresh. Okay. Um, up here in your usings, you want to add a few, and we're gonna we're going to add um, using system dot xml using system dot xml dot serialization <coughs> using system dot io and finally using system dot text so this is more for um, <clears throat> the serialization of the information we get from the from the clients and stuff like that and turning that into an XML files and then retrieving that information again so that's what that is <clears throat> and then um, after that we're gonna declare some variables first one's gonna be public int server um, zero one port and this is going to be the port of the server I'm gonna do 25,000 next um, we're gonna create a game object for our player <coughs> this is gonna be uh, the connection <coughs> ah, actually no I do not know what that is but I have a feeling well, I, I know we were using it, so I'm going to keep it in there. Um, next, we're going to create a default level. So this is useful if you're making, uh, you know, small small MMOs where you want, like, for example, RuneScape starts at level three instead of level one, like most games. But you know, you can you can change things with this. So just a bit of more flexibility with your games you can you can do so default um, health that's quite that's a useful one and then uh, public int default I believe the next one's mana energy energy let's go with energy energy is cool we'll do 50 <coughs> and then finally our default position where every player will start when they first log into the game 
So these, um, we're going to do one, one, and one. So <coughs> this start position, or all these, are going to be assigned when um, player request, um, requests for um, their character to be created as, um, as a file. These are going to be the default. Uh, this is going to be the default data, which is set. All right, so next we want to create a boolean for should save. <coughs> um, should load. And there's my family. And then um, switch, switch save, and switch, ah, switch load. So this is all stuff for um, the XML script that I got from <coughs> that I got from uh, the forms. The link was actually the link's going to be in this description box. So look out for that. It's a very good script, um, and once you understand it, it's not that difficult to use. Um, next, we need a string for file location. So this is where where are you going to store all these new accounts that you're going to create and um, that's going to be file location and default file name um, <coughs> the file name will just be um, a temporary file name until you know <coughs> until um, we set a new one with the player's username okay uh, next is an account structure register uh, register data so we're going to create this account structure soon. I'm just going to put it out there now. Probably even comment it out. Actually, what's weird is that account structure. I've got one. Oh yes, I do. Okay. So actually, what I'm going to do, but I don't have registered data, so I'm going to keep it. <coughs> I'm I'm just going to comment that out for now. Um. Next, we want a um, string for data, <coughs> and that is it. Now, I believe these are the three last variables. We need two privates. Private. First one is actually you know just one. Server one. Server one. Server equals false. And let me just write this down. This is the registration server. <coughs> Actually, no. What I've decided to do in the end was to um. Well, what I've just decided now is to keep everything running on one server because I haven't quite mastered having multiple servers, and it's a whole new setup for that. So I'm just gonna keep it on one server, and this is gonna be main server for now. On as uh, default on off so this is is it on or is it off <coughs> um, next we want our public array list uh, player scripts equals new array list and uh, what this is is um well basically we're getting the players and we're adding them to an array that's pretty much it so the players which are connected are added to an array list <coughs> so we can pick them out if the server has to alright so we're gonna create a new start function and within here we want to um, use our file location equals application ah, application application dot data path and what that means is that, um, well, actually, let me show you what that means. Once we start the core, automatically in the start, this file location will be equal to that application data path. That application data path for um, our thing is here, the first folder. So out of my document, straight in, it's right here. <coughs> All right. So that's the application data path. Um, and as well when you build whatever folder that build is in that's the application data path alright um, if you wanted to as well you could probably 
do that and then add a bit more text in here and to go into folders but I'm <coughs> sorry <coughs> I'm just gonna keep that lined up for now and a register register data um, data equals new account structure and once again we want to comment this out because we haven't really set that up yet right so that's it for our start function it's very small it's pretty much all we need to get it going uh, next is the on GUI now the GUI is quite a fat bit of code out of the core it's the main um, actually it's not the main, main bulk but it's extremely important to get this right because that's where everything really happens for the server <coughs> so I'm gonna begin a group GUI begin group and it's new rec let me screen dot width divided by two float minus three hundred <coughs> ah. and then um same thing but for the height screen dot height divided by two f minus three hundred and it's gonna be double what we minus like always so we're initializing a begin group here in the middle of the screen <coughs> if server <coughs> uh, yeah so here we're using this um, variable here so if the server is false is not on what do we want to do well we want to show a button will, which will start um, start our server and you know give the option to the server operator it might be you if you want to start it or not and start server on port space there and then we're gonna do a plus and we're gonna pass through server one port alright <coughs> just like that close that out and if that happens then we're gonna say server is equal to true now the server's been turned on and we're gonna start um, we're gonna create a new function for that and that function is gonna be called start server public void we're gonna fill that in soon and now we're gonna do the opposite or else or else if GUI dot button um, new rec and this is just gonna simply be our close button um, stop server and then we're gonna add a little warning sign because we don't want to stop our server unless we really really have to and then our stop server function which we're also going to build actually copy that just like that <coughs> alright I'm gonna check for any errors and I've got none if you do have some I'm gonna scroll down this very slowly so you can ch double check here we go so yeah just pause it go back and just pause it as you go along if you still get some errors just you know download the the files and just check through it it should be you'll 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 be able to fix it all right so um now that we've done that let me just check the time 14 minutes well i'm going to leave it here um i'm also going to be making much longer videos from now on so um hopefully that helps you guys see you later thank you for watching